Hey Tim, hey everyone else. Welcome back to Four Running Shoes. It is Monday night and I really didn't feel like running tonight. I think this is the first time in a while that I just really wasn't feeling motivated. Um, and there's some moments like these where I've had a long day, generally feeling pretty tired and fatigued mentally, where I'm really glad that I've got a habitual behavior that I set up these processes well, earlier in the year and pretty ingrained now that I have these runs. And so this week I'm gonna run four times and run 25 kilometers. So we're out for a seven kilometer run now. It's dark, it's cold, I've got my thermals on, but now that I'm out, that I pushed through that like a motivation, I'm really grateful. It is Thursday and I just finished my five kilometer run. Feeling pretty fatigued today. I did run yesterday morning, just an easy three kilometers. And uh, so I've had less than 24 hours to recover from that, um, which is very unusual for me. I don't usually do that. So uh, pretty slow today, which is fine. I expected a slow run, but I wasn't expecting to feel as fatigued as I did. Uh, not sore or anything, just slow. So I run five kilometers in with about, or just, just faster than six minute pacing which is fine, and uh, I'll rest day tomorrow, and we'll have a long run on Saturday. It's Saturday. I'm back in Wandlin, actually. I'm going to run the other way of the Walker Trail to Mount Evelyn and back. It'll be about 10 kilometers, wearing gloves, because it is, and thermals, it's about, I don't know, two or three degrees at the moment, <laughs> and uh, winter is coming. So I'm going to take it pretty easy today, because I'm feeling pretty weary with fatigue, but that's right, not sore. Bit over halfway now, just turned around. It's uh, still pretty cool, but I have warmed up now. Running pretty slowly, it was uphill. Man, everyone's the highest point of the trail. Um, and we had a couple of road crossings as well. We slowed this down, just to wait for them. Uh, I'm heading back down now. Running somewhere between five minutes 30, five minutes 40. But it'll be good to go back down now, so we'll enjoy that. So that's another successful week, ran my goal of 25 kilometers, which I was really happy with. It was a good run on the weekend. I didn't do it faster than my 10 kilometer run last week, but that's okay. I'm running with a bit more fatigue at the moment. I am expecting that because I have less rest days during the week and that's where I want to be. It's good to run with some fatigue as long as your body's ready for that. And that's why I'm building this foundation very slowly because it, it means, especially if you're training for races, that your body knows what it's like to be tired, and so it's okay to run when it's tired. Now, I have been very intentional not to add the distance too quickly, to add the distance very slowly, one kilometer a week all year, now up to 25 kilometers. And I have done that so that my joints and my muscles can handle that. So I, I'm still having you know 24 hours between my runs, but it means that my body is just better at running, it can handle it. So I still make sure that I have got rest days, but I don't need as many, and that, that is kind of the goal. So this week coming up, the plan is to run 26 kilometers. I would like to have a short run on the weekend. So I think I'll do, I don't know, an eight or nine kilometer run earlier in the week, then a I don't know, four or five, then another eight kilometer run. Uh, so four or five kilometer run on Wednesday, eight kilometer run on Thursday, and then a, a shorter quick one probably on the weekend, just to mix it up a little bit. And uh, that will be my week next week, hopefully. Tim. Thank you for your video last week. I was very impressed with the intro. I'm going to try that next week. I was too late to do it for this week because I'd already filmed things, but uh, the great, uh, I'm keen to give that a go. It was very interesting. And I'm really excited that you've hit your mileage goal for a couple of weeks in a row, row now and you're feeling on top of things and you're enjoying it. So great work. I am interested to hear how you running more slowly goes for you. I'm gonna try it as well. I don't have the heart rate technology just yet to do a lactate threshold test, but that's something I'm starting to think about as well. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. And I'm looking forward to seeing Tim's video on Thursday, and I hope you're looking forward to seeing my video next Tuesday. Take care everyone, and we'll see you next time.